Zarkizer. Hey guys, it's your boy Zarkizer, and today we're gonna talk about the new 2020 Honda CBR650R. The CBR650R is a middleweight sport bike intended for casual sport riders. It's fast, fun, and very versatile. You can use it as a daily commuter around the city, or you could even use it on the racetrack. This bike is an ideal balance between sports performance and everyday practicality. For 2020, the new CBR650R comes equipped with ABS and has a price tag of $9,700. It has a top speed of approximately 149 miles per hour and features aggressive styling and aerodynamic bodywork. The CBR650R looks just the way a modern sport bike should be, and with its four-cylinder engine, top shelf rider aids, and versatile riding position, the CBR650R is a rare beast indeed making it a half racer and a half commuter. There's a lot to learn about this bike, but before we get into that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel for more daily motorcycle news and reviews. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about the new CBR650R and also give this video a thumbs up if you like it. You can also follow me on Instagram where I post daily motorcycle content and definitely check out my online store where you could buy some cool motorcycle accessories and apparel. Alright so yeah, let's get right back into it. The new Honda CBR650R weighs 458 pounds and has a compact wheelbase of 57 inches. It has a 810mm seat height and a ground clearance of 130mm. This bike has a 4.1 gallon fuel tank capacity and a fuel economy of approximately 53 miles per gallon. A bike as versatile as the CBR650R needs plenty of riding range, so its large tank size and good gas mileage provides exactly that. The CBR650R is powered by a 649cc liquid-cooled inline four-cylinder engine that produces 94 horsepower and 60 Nm of torque. The motor comes mated to a 6-speed transmission gearbox that's assisted by a slipper clutch. This motorcycle also comes with dual-channel ABS and also features Honda's selectable torque control, which adjusts engine power to optimize torque at the rear wheel, ultimately reducing rear wheel slip. The braking system on this bike is done by two 320mm discs with radial mount 4-piston calipers at the front and a single 240mm disc at the rear for plenty of stopping power. Suspension on this bike is handled by 41mm inverted forks up front that provide 4.2 inches of front suspension travel and a single Showa shock at the back that provides 5 inches of rear suspension travel. This bike sits on 17-inch tires and its aluminum wheels help reduce unsprung weight to have a greater influence on handling. The CBR650R gets an all-digital LCD display that features basic information such as a digital clock, speedometer, tactometer, gear position, upshift indicator, and much more. The CBR650R uses an eye-catching dual-lens LED headlight. It's both brighter and smaller than conventional designs and contributes in a big way to the CBR sense of style. For 2020, the new CBR650R is very versatile and provides explosive power, nimble handling, and aggressive styling. It's a fun and cool looking bike that stands out everywhere you take it. So yeah, that's about it for the new Honda CBR650R. Be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the bike. Do you like the new style and design? Do you think this is the best middleweight sport bike? Are you a fan of Honda motorcycles? Let me know your thoughts down below. I respond to every comment, so definitely let me know down below in the comment section. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel for more daily motorcycle news and reviews. And give this video a thumbs up if you like it. You can also follow me on Instagram where I post daily motorcycle content. Alright, that's it for now guys. See you tomorrow. Peace. Zarkizer. Zarkizer.